Hello, welcome to this video of Tomb Raider 2 Nolux Domain's on Secret Tutorial. Today is going to be about Offshore Rig. This is a pretty okay level, you will see, so let's go. So, I made a save at the start of the level after the cutscene because don't want to reload every time if, because of the cutscene. So, yeah, first, what you want to do is you can do running jumps here or you can run around the block. It doesn't really matter, it's just a bit faster. On this room, you don't need to push the block the intended way. You just need to pull one block, which is this one, to go to the lever, and then you can get up pretty easily because the timing for uh, for the door is really easy. You will see. So you just pull the lever. You can roll, add a running jump if you want. It's not really necessary. Standing jump here, go here, add a running jump here if you want. But even running is fine. And as you can see, there is plenty of time before the door closes. So you can stumble, things can happen, you should be able to still make it. So yeah. So gonna just pass over it very quickly because it's really easy. You shouldn't have any problem with that. So yeah, the next part is gonna be a bit more annoying. So I will just show you the quick and the slow way for the next room. Because there are a few small differences. Run and jump here. Yep. And from here, you have a couple of choices. So you can do this and do running jumps and jumps over the barrel here. And if you do that, this guy won't hit you, or like 80% of the time, he won't hit you at all. And if you're in this position, you will come first before the melee guy. So that's the fastest and in a way the best way in my opinion but what can happen obviously is that you mess up something or whatever you jump too early and you get hit by the barrels that can happen you need to be careful about that it's just a bit of having the same uh, running jump sequence and don't worry it should be all right so this, this is for speedway so as you can see it's me once but it's, it should be fine and then he's coming to me uh, like this before the melee guy but I'm mentioning that because if you don't have a most efficient sequence this guy will shoot you but generally that happens and also the melee guy will come before and if that happens you will need to take a hit from the melee guy to lure the guy to lure the gun guy enough and because what can happen is if you try to avoid the melee guy hits, what can happen is that the gun guy will run away because you will be too far from him because there is a tile I will show you. So if you're on this tile here, if you're on those tile here, sometimes the gun guys and the melee guys you can see they don't come to you. They only come to you when you're on these blocks. As you can see, if I'm here, they come. If I'm here, they go away. And the fact is that if you need to wait for the gun guy to be close enough so you can start going to the window. So if a melee guy comes first, you will have to take a hit or there is a risk that that happens. I hope it was clear enough. So yeah, that's, that's why I recommend the first one because then you are sure that the gun guy is in the good spots. So yeah, that's how you do it. Up. And here, what you do is you just go here, you roll like this to have this camera angle and you wait until the, the gun guy is roughly at a bit a bit before this point actually he doesn't have to be just on you it can be slightly before that and then you can just run to the window and it will shoot it before you get it and this is pretty good and then you can just jump to the plane so you will need to practice this part a bit so here I got hit by the barrels because I didn't time right um, so yeah up you will need to time a bit your runnings and jumps on etc so here we shoot so we need to do that jump here that jump when you start can be a bit tricky but this is the best way if you don't do that you will have to basically go the dev intended way to uh, stop that thing here and etc and Trust me, it's, it's pretty long and you don't really want to do that. But yeah, this this is basically it. Um, 
I won't show you show the dev intended way. I will just show those two because everyone use that actually. And yeah, so this is basically it for this. Just running jump, running jump. Oop, delay a bit. Got hit by the barrels, but it's fine. Oop. It's gonna shoot you a bit. Roll here. Wait for guy. It's here. Run. And here you jump here. Yeah. So you need to practice that jumps. I don't have too much to explain for now. I will kill those guys. Uh, I will kill those guys and explain to you a bit better, a bit more when I jump and etc. Because it's it's hard to explain with the guys around. So yeah, let's kill those guys first. So you take your gun, you get out like this. You can either go back in the water and go to the start or do this. Just be careful about this because I can deal a lot of damage to you. And yeah, kill those guys. So this guy is the most dangerous. Then the melee guy is fine. You can just step back and just kill him like this. And take and you don't need that guy's pickup because it's a med and you're good to go. So I will redo the whole thing one time because I don't know if I've been clear enough. So up. Up. Do ready jumps here. Is this guy climb? It's really good sign generally. And yeah, roll here. Wait. So here I got a bit unlucky, so I had to change a bit my um, the way I went to the to the to the glass. The reason I did that is I didn't want to stand on the tire where the gun guy goes. So that's why I did that kind of weird movement, just to avoid eating the tile. And anyway, you go here, so here is in a good spot so you can shoot him from here, which is pretty good because then he can't shoot you. And if you kill him from here, it's really good. If you don't, you need to hit that jump, or if you don't want to hit that jump, you can go back to the beginning and kill those guys from distance. What I personally do is I go here, up, up. Go here, this way I can just stay on the balcony here to be safe and wait for the guys to come for example. And when they come here, up, come on. So we you will do that kind of weird movements. Go here, you can just jump back and be safe and kill them easily. Anyway, you pick up the item and I will show you a bit more about the jump. So the, the jump has to be when you climb the step, you basically want to hit jump, press jump when you climb the step. If you ju press jump when you climb the step, you will make it to the plane if you just aim here. Oops. If you aim like this and jump on the plane, it's good. You will make it, you will have a stumble, but you will make it every time. As long as you don't aim too much left, for example, like this. Then you will stumble like this and fall in the water. It, it's fine. Just I am like this up at this block, and you're good to go. If you want to have stumbleless, you need to delay a bit your jump after climbing the step, like this, and you can keep going. This this saves like half seconds, one second, depending on the stumble you get. But this is this is easy if you want to try it and. If you can't do it, don't worry, it's fine. It doesn't change too much. As long as you don't do this or you or you fall in the water or whatever, it's it's bad. It's good. It's really it's okay. Yeah, jump here. I personally aim to the right of this tile here instead of aiming here to avoid the stumble easier. That's the only thing I can tell. So yeah, that's it about that jump. Then you go to this keyhole here. And Obviously, if you want to go for speed, you won't do what I'm about to do. But if you don't, if you can't stand that alarm sound, you can just stop it right here, and then go to the next place. So you have two ways of doing that part. You can kill the guys one by one, like this, for example. You can just go here. Here. And then kill that guy like this. 
and then open the door, kill the next guy, etc. I'll show the whole thing once. So there should be a guy here. Be sure you don't take your hits. Then take all the things you want. There are there's double pick up here. There is a harpoon double pick up here, which is very important for the next levels if you want to kill sharks. And there is um, an harpoon here. Actually, the gun harpoon, not the ammo. Uh -huh. And then there is here the auto pistols that you really want for the rest of this level. And then you go to the bottom like you all will do. So you can try a, run, uh, a jump here. And if you make it, it's good. If you don't make it, you can just climb again manually and put the button and etc. Or what you can do is you can do a slight different way. You can just open the door quickly. Then you do this sequence, stunning jump, running jump. Go here, you can do another, you can do other running jumps here. Climb here, go like this and wait and you will be able to be like this. And those guys are gonna never gonna eat you if you do it right. And then you can just kill them like this, no problem. So do it as you want. This is this is actually pretty easy. What you just need to do is you just need to climb here, roughly a bit close to the to the very right. You don't want to climb here. Oops, uh -huh. that's not what I wanted to do. You don't want to climb uh, like right here, right here, for example. Let's try. Let's try to get spot. Come on, Lara, please climb. You don't, don't want to climb here. The reason is that you, you will press forward. And if you are here, you will be too far and the guys will come to you. So you want to let a bit of distance here. And then you press forward, go against the wall, turn back and wait. And then it will work every time. So you, if, because if you are here, for example, they won't, they won't bug and they will climb and eat you. But if you if you do this and go a bit to the right like this, it will work every time. So you kill them, and then you can do the same. You can go pick up the harpoon and etc. So this is slightly faster than doing the rest, but uh -huh. this is slightly riskier. And also one thing: after you pick up the harpoon, you can try. Oops, you can try a jump here from here. Up. So up. You can try to jump from here like this to avoid climbing and yeah it's i'm not entering too much detail for this ones because they don't save too much time and also they just if you miss it it's okay you can just climb again but anyway you need unless you don't want to kill sharks later you can uh, need uh, need those ammo is it a double i don't remember yeah it's a double so you don't kind of want those ammo and those ammo if you want to go for the speed things is not really required but it's always good to pick it up if you want to play safe so really as you want when you want to be safe i just recommend killing them like this it's it's probably one or two seconds slower only but it's actually safer so Oops. So yeah, this not too much to say about that. I feel like it will be like this all the time in this level. Like I, I will, I won't have to say too much about it because all the things are not really too much complicated. They are just. I don't know, we feel like common sense, just, uh -huh. just kill those guys, just step back and etc. This is, this is a bit common sense, so yeah, go pick up those things however uh -huh. you want. So push the button, and if you eat the ceiling here, you will be able to keep, uh, to keep running. And if not, don't worry, the timer for this door is really forgivable, so you just turn. And grab it's pretty much intended here 
and here you want to uh, to be like this this way because you want to grab that ladder if you are the other way you will die and then you drop down safely and you can do the puzzle i won't show how basically you just need to pull that block put it on the right and then pull that block and then be able to push it to be able to avoid jumping over the side over fire or what you can do is if you're on the left of the ladder here when you drop down you can just do a backflip sidestep here against the things and you will be able to jump over uh, fire without hitting the without pushing the blocks so how do you do that you just basically you want to roughly have being positioned like this so how it is is that you just there is this ladder texture Lara's middle head has to be roughly in the middle of it a bit more on the left like this oops like this maybe yeah like this this should it's pretty lenient as you will see so here for example it will work up and you can just climb or a bit more on the right like this and it will work just be careful if you're too much right that will happen so here i don't do damage but i will have to do a side step and then jump and lose a bit more damage so if you do that you will lose a bit more damage but if you like if you aim too much right like this you will have to sidestep and lose more damage than you should so what i personally do if i aim too much right i personally when i arrive here i just curve a bit to the right and i will be able to, to grab the ladder but yeah if you aim like this just standing jump you can just calmly climb and lose few damage to avoid the old block puzzle which is really nice in my opinion and then yeah you can climb again and go for it so same i won't tell too, too much detail because that's the only thing you you really have to know just drop down from close to the to the left of a ladder side flip uh side step to be against the wedge and just do the standing jump with a lineup i showed you and you're good so from this point just have to kill that guy now i recommend using autos here or else he will come to you a bit quicker you can wait from further and shoot him with pistols if you want to save your ammo it's not really an issue pick up a card and climb to the first secret which is the stone secret i think yeah i think it's the stone secret so you can climb all the way to the top and get the secret or what you can do is you can just climb until it and do two side flip and land on the mm -hmm. secrets so it's pretty cool it's actually pretty cool and this is actually faster oops always forget and yeah and then you go to the ladder again so here i didn't explain but oops let me show you so i was roughly here so what you can just do is you can just do this and then climb the ladder like this up uh climb no, grab the ladder like this or you can just roll off the edge here and grab the ladder and do the same oops didn't press the right button but if you just press forward you will grab it but i don't trust it so i recommend rolling off the edge to be sure but it should work every time but i'm never confident about that anyway drop to the ladder and go to the water here you can pull the lever if you do everything pretty fast you can pull the lever and um, undo the, this whole part going to the secret in one go without taking breath if you're not confident about that you can just pull the lever take your brief and then go like i just did to be a bit extra safe this is real as you want but you will see that it's you have time to to travel actually and this is the jade secret so pretty easy secret nothing to say about it and you come back from where you come from and you're good to go so as you can see there are various times to to take your breath on exit drive if you're not confident i can't blame you just take the brief after the lever and go so here we're back in the plane room so you, you want to jump directly here and keep going 
and you will have two enemies in the next place so you can either wait for them you can kill the dog from here if not you will have to wait and then you can just wait for the enemy up and if you want to be extra safe and you can even pick up the uzi's ammo or what i personally generally do up they go here i personally do this old sequence here which is okay so basically what i do is i just i don't shoot immediately as you can see i wait she targets the guy first when you come to the room she targets the guy and if you wait like half seconds you will see that she, she switches target to target the dog and the dog is more important to kill first because he's the one that can just come to you and bite you really easily so you want to wait lara to switch her target before shooting and then you're good so that's the detail i wanted to show so you come here up just you can wait a bit more if you want to be sure but here I, I anticipated because I'm used to it and you can pick up the uses so you will see that the barrels trigger here on this tile here so just be careful if you fight bad guy and something get messy if you hit one of those tile it will trigger the barrels so be careful and anyway yeah if so up. you can also shoot the guy one time then stop shooting and she will target the dog and then you can have an extra shot on the guy anyway you pick up the uses if you want and yeah you keep going so what i personally do is i yolo this part here just running over the barrel it's pretty easy but nothing is obviously stopping you from just um well kill those things trigger the barrels wait for them to pass and then go for the button this this is it's slower but it works as well and you use the card here and if you want to save a bit of ammo you can draw your your normal guns here and you can jump here oops that's not that's completely not how i wanted to, sh to show it to you oops so yeah, jump, running jump over there up so you can draw your guns here and what you can do is you can just turn, do a running jump, a second running jump here, and if you and shooting that guy, you will shoot him and he will never hit you. If you shoot him like I just did, he will never hit you. So that's almost as fast as going to the block. <coughs> so you, you barely lose any time and you save like 40 ammo. So that's that's pretty nice choice in my opinion. But yeah, that's yeah, that's it. And then you push the first block. Then you draw your autos or you keep your pistols if you want to save more ammo. If you want to save more ammo, you can just shoot those guys from here. Or you can use your auto pistols to be a bit faster. And then you can do that jump, which is relatively easy. So you don't lose too much trying it. Just be here, do a rank jump here. Just be careful about the fence and you're good to go. Or you can go here, obviously, and jump like this to pull that second block. Well, it's the same block, but pull that block second time, I meant, sorry. And then you can just step back like this and do a running jump here. Or again, you can just, if you're not confident doing that jump, if you don't know really to be consistent, you can just go here and do normal way to push that block. I know you're good to go so it's important to kill those guys because if you don't kill those guys what's going to happen is when you're going to push or pull that block they will enter in the block and in the end they will end up generally here on this spot and you don't want that to happen when you push the block the last time trust me so yeah oops oh my god okay i hope you didn't watch that uh, so yeah, then you want to jump on the block, you need to grab it, you can do it without grabbing and land on the block, but it's pretty hard, so don't try it. Jump over here, and here, up, just go like this, kill that guy, 
be careful so he can hit you once depending of his rng it's a bit luck what you can do is you can lure him so what you can do is you can just his trigger is here on this style here so you have choices you can just run to the guy like i just did and 80 percent of the time he won't hit you or you can trigger him like this and wait until he comes to you here he can take some time so be patient if he's not coming right right on the way <coughs> and then and then just shoot him from range and just roll around him and that's it or just one thing i want to mention is that if you cut the corner too much what can happen is you will skip the trigger for this guy if you're going for the quick way you do like this and you don't see the guy you will have to this is a glitch because you will skip a trigger by going into a corner so that's a glitch so if that happens what you do is you just come back here and do like everything never happened and don't worry it's, it will be fine it's, even if it's a glitch it didn't go to your advantage and you came back where you came from so you didn't take any advantage of this glitch so just mentioning because that can happen really easily actually so pull the lever and go here so you can do this which is a bit harder than it looks if you don't have a right sequence because generally happen what's happening is that that will happen that will happen or you will even drop down and if you drop down running you will see that oops come on like this you will lose some health it's it's not that big but it's still it's still a big of a deal so if you don't want that you can just um oh my god i didn't say well <laughs> well we have to redo all this but yeah if if you don't want to do that you can just drop safely grabbing the edge and falling and you won't lose any damage so do it as you want i can't really help you too much about when you need to jump etc because that's typical to your sequence like how you go how you arrive here and etc so if you want to do that jump try it and if you can make it then it's good for you and if you can't make it, it's fine. Don't worry, it was two seconds. So it's not too bad. And yeah, if you're playing for safety, you, you don't really care because you don't care about time. So yeah, put the block, blah, blah, blah. So we have to do all this. So I will be able to show you how to lure the guy, which is pretty handy. But this is basically how you lure again in the game. You just trigger them go in a corner and wait for them to a corner and then roll a lot and it should work fine so try that jump here well I didn't get it so you can you can make that jump well, just try but i didn't oops come on i swear i'm good at this game so so you can trigger him up so yeah, maybe he went too far, he could have shot me, but it's fine. And then you wait for him. And you can see that it takes quite a bit of time till he comes. And sometimes it even takes more time. So just be patient. Sometimes it will sometimes it happens that he runs around here. So yeah. Anyway, we are here again. So we're gonna save this time. To do running jumps. So this is his jump here. Up. So it, it's really hard to describe how you want to do it. I will try something, but I think it's not working. Let's see. So you can do this maybe? No, okay, yeah. Yeah, that's all I thought. Because the corner is a sticky corner here. You can't do a standing jump from here. You need to do a running, a running jump like this. Anyway, go in the water and go to the next button. Uh, it's a lever, actually, I think. Doesn't change anything. Jump over this. Uh, you you kind of want to be careful about that because if you jump from here, oops, didn't happen. If you jump from too close, like this, you will get stuck here. So 
that's not handy. You, you want to jump from a bit far and you're good to go. So go to that lever. So you open the trap door close to the last lever you pull, so you have to come back to the other lever. So this is some backtracking here, but you have no choice. You have to do it. Up. Grab this thing again. Up. So here you can do a pretty easy flat console, so it's worth, it's worth doing it. Drop here in this direction, and then just drop here. And this area is the gold secret area, and yeah, you can go it the, the dev intended way, I guess, going around here and doing those, all of those, not really tricky, but a bit boring and you can fall easily and etc. This part is, I don't recommend doing it like this, but you can. The, the only advantage is that this guy and the shotgun guy I will show later are actually way easier to kill without taking damage, but that's very much it. When you jump back here and you do this, and then you go here, kill that guy, so that's what the shotgun guy was referring to, and then go here. So if you want to kill every enemy before actually getting the, the gold secret, you can do all this first. And then pick up the key here, and then drop down to the secret. But that costs a lot of time because if after picking up the gold secret, you will have to redo everything to get to that opening there. So yeah, that's if you want to go to that opening there, it's it's better to get go, it's way faster going to get the secrets, killing those things from those things, those guys and yeah, those guys from range and just going back only one time to that opening so this is way slower doing it like this but it's slightly easier so if you want to be really safe again just pick that one if not just jump to that uh to that water go to the gold secret don't go to the gold secret immediately first you want to shoot that scuba lighter so if you do like I just did, don't wait, jump in the water, come back immediately here. The scuba diver will always be here, and there will be another one on the other side of the room that you can see from really distance here. And you won't really have to take care of this one. What you have to know is there are two triggers of two there are two triggers of two guys. So there is Shut up, I will I will talk about you later. Don't try to pay attention. So as you can see, if you don't shoot him first, that will happen, and that's not good. So there is one trigger of one guy here on the Stone Dragon. And there is a trigger on another guy here. So one guy should be there. So be careful about that, because when you're shooting the guy, when you're shooting that guy, like how I will explain after, um, what's going to happen is that if you go to the on the gold secret spots what will happen is that you will trigger the guy and the time you shoot the the gun guy i will show you will have a trouble because the other guy will push you so you will might take a hit and etc so yeah that's pretty tricky so be careful about that what you want to do is go here prepare your auto pistols it's important that you climb on this tile here not on the next one on the left here the reason is that if you do that, this gun guy won't shoot you. So up, so you can see that he can only shoot you from this distance here. And because of that, we we kind of want to take advantage. And yeah, you can kill that scuba diver safely if you're on this tile here. So that's why I'm I'm saying that. Here, up. You can even jump to be sure to shoot him if you can't shoot him. Up. And then, so this guy can't shoot you. And then you want to take care of this guy. So take care of this guy, just go to the edge here. You will be able to shoot him. And once you shot him once, you just. Uh, you will generally run away when he will stop shooting you and go away. 
and you just shoot him until he dies and you make sure he dies so here he's dead for sure but if you just not pay attention and you kill him you don't kill him actually like you forget you can't see him anymore or whatever just be careful because when you're going to take care of that gold crystal uh, gold crystal gold secrets you will uh, you might have trouble with him so yeah one last time up and here on the left here up then you go to the edge here shoot him he will go away and he will die here so you can when you pick up a gold secret you can even kill those guys and then pick up the secrets or what you can just do is really easy you just roll pick up the secrets mm -hmm. and run range up in the water and they won't get you and you're safe so i recommend that it's faster it saves ammo it's really really safe so yeah so if you go on the right like i just did you will skip completely the harpoon guy which is on the left there so that's pretty handy because that guy can shoot you a couple of times if you go the other way and you go to that ladder and you climb and the last thing the last thing is the next guy so i will mention something in case you have really low health at this point so if you have really low health at this point also i forgot to add the oops i forgot to add the gold one so this guy if you climb if you if you have health, you can just do it. You can run and jump here. You will lose a bit of damage here. You can see I'm not sure. So you can see it lose health. If you have really low health, it will be really slow. But what you can do is do this. You can just fall in the water on purpose and and then climb again and do that over and over until he dies. So that is your backup plan if you are low health here. Um, because if you climb, it will shoot you 100%. And you have to climb. So you have to kill him before you climb. And the only way to do that is this. Also, if you do that, be sure to kill the harpoon guy before. Because when you will drop to water, it might be annoying to you. So yeah. But if you are good, you can just do this jump here. So obviously, if you are not confident about doing your low jump like I just did, you can just go to the edge. up, Step back and random jump and then you can kill him so this guy if you want to if you want it this guy drops shotguns the actual gun so if you if you want it and use it later you can i personally don't need it so yeah but i just saying that there is a shotgun drop here and then you jump here so there is a guy here even drop shotgun shell if you want but first it's important to kill that guy here because as you can see if you wait it will be a trouble because he can hit you from distance and shotgun hits are actually a pain because they deal a lot of damage so yeah shotgun guys if you are your priorities to kill so, yeah. go here go here up so at this point you can use uzis because you got that uzis with gold secret so you do jump here oops so yeah that can happen if you if you didn't kill those guys she will target on the guy on the bottom to avoid that just stand on the left here and she will almost unless you're really unlucky and this, those guys are over there you will be able to shoot the gun guy no problem and then you do jump here up another jump here and you get the key so as you can see now we are at the same point of uh, of um, methods of doing that room i showed before except that we picked the secret so then we don't have to, re to climb the ladder and basically we have it says 30 seconds basically and then we come back to this opening here um one thing i need to mention is that there are two ways of doing the end of this level 
One way is without the key card that I'm going to show, so you don't need to get that key card I just picked up here. So what you can do is you can just kill that guy, kill that gun guy, and then directly climb if you don't use a key. If you want to use a key, just go, go like I just did and pick up the key. And then you come back, you can prepare a flare because there's going to be a potential flare console. Climb that ladder and yeah, from, at this point there is two ways of finishing the level. One way that involves uh, one frame, uh, one uh, frame perfect jump. You need to grab at the right frame to make it. But don't worry, there is a setup for it that I will explain quickly. And I will refer to you to another video to answer it in more details. I will quickly go on it and I will drop a link in the description uh, where I did a tutorial about that jump for speed runway. So this is the same, except that I just explained everything in details about buffers and etc. So if you're interested about doing that jump, I will refer you to this video and show it to you quickly here. But yeah, so the first way is to just flag cancel here. You will have a guy to kill here. Just drop some med. So if you're low health, just be careful. Just stay here and shoot him from range. If you have a couple of health, you can just go to him and just shoot him like this. If you take a hit, it's no problem. It's the end of a level anyway. It's important to pull that lever because that's rise the water the other side and you need it. Else you need to do the jump again. You need to do the jump I will do later. So pulling the lever is worth if you pick up the key. Use the key, go in the water, and you will be in that opening here, and you're good to go. So this level is pretty much done. So this is the first way. This is a bit slower, but this is safer. The other way is if you are here, up, just flare console here. Go the other way. I, I need to check something actually. Maybe I didn't mention. No, you don't lose health from here. I, I thought you will you lost health from here, but no. Okay. So just flag console, go to the left here, and if you can you go like this. Oops. You do this here. Or you can drop safely, but if, if you would if, it's not worth dropping safely because if you drop safely, actually, it makes this road slower and harder. So, if you if this is just if you really want to go really fast, you can just do this. So, if, if you know how to do this, you, you can do this road. Anyway, just go to the water, and at this point, if you want to learn it, I will um, learn it into detail. I refer you to the other video I will drop. But yeah, basically, what you want to do is you want to climb here. It's important to climb from here. You basically have to climb on this style here. And then you do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight step. So I appreciate drop, stop pressing forward at the seventh step. So I have visuals to know that my position is right because you need your position to be perfect. So if you stop at the right time, Vlara's shadow is gonna stop just after this brown texture here on the ground. So that's how you know it's pretty good. Then you do a side flip here. And you need to do this, I will show it quickly, and also I will show it because I, I need to remember how it goes. Yeah, it's like this, okay. So that's what you need to do. It's important to have either autos, either uses, or either pistols activated. The reason is that we use the drawing pistols um, animation to time the grab. So obviously they are the same for uses autos and pistols but if you have harpoon somehow it's longer drawing harpoons than drawing guns so there will be a difference so yeah one two three four five six seven eight up and you can see my position is good you side flip and from this point what you need to do is you need to do buffer so buffer is explained via other video but basically what you do is when you press inventory if you go back, if you when you close the inventory, pressing inventory and hold it, you will come back to your inventory at the same. You it will go two frame be, be, between the two inventories that just happened. So between those two inventories, there is two frames passing, and that's consistent. If you hold the inventory, that's consistent. 
and we're going to use that to time our jump. So what you do is first buffer, because that's what it's called. Buffer is the time between uh, between batteries. First buffer, you need to draw your guns. So you go, you press inventory on guns and you hold them until you have this second inventory. Then you do two inventory for nothing. And then you're going to do a running jump holding the gun button. Up. And you will grab. So here it didn't work because I didn't time it properly because um, I was speaking. So it's actually pretty hard when you speak uh, doing this. But yeah, let's do that. So inventory, gun press inventory, inventory, inventory. Up. And here you do a running jump. And you're going to press gun and hold it. You need Lara to draw her guns two times. And when she pulls out her gun the second time, you just want to press grab and release everything. So if you just look at my inputs, it will be clearer. Up. So as you can see, she's drawing guns two times. And when she's undrawing the gun the second time, you can just stop pressing everything and just press action and she will grab the edge. So that's pretty much it. If you want to enter into more details about that, there is my video in the description and it's better explained and more details. So yeah, but just showing to you and if you don't know how to do it, you just do the other way, it's, it's fine. What you have to know is that if you miss that jump, you will lose health as you can see. So this is important to notice. You can't just miss that jump, climb back and do it over and over. Not that this is not a glitch, but you going in the inventory doesn't push you forward or whatever. It's it's not required. You can do it without buffers, but what you have to know is that you can do it like this, but it's one frame. You have one frame to press the action button. So that's why we use inventory. It's not to make the jump happen, it's to help it timing the grabbing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, and then you're in this spot and you are in the same spot as you were previously with the other method. And then you go here. So there is, because we mess up a bit of the level, there is water, but don't worry, it's normal. And you finish the level, level, level you pull that lever and you go to the ink trigger and you're done with offshore rig. So that's a relatively long level, but that's that should be pretty easy to deal with health at least. There are some things that are messy, etc. But there is always things messy with enemies, with guns and etc. So that's it for offshore rig. As usual, if you have anything to ask, you can ask in the description, uh, in the commentary. Every time I do that mistake, <laughs> sorry. And yeah, as usual, we'll do two offshore runs after this. And next level is going to be diving area. And see you next time.